Oh. Okay. So, Vito, tell me about him. Well, uh, in a few words, actually. It's, uh, <laughs> okay, that's okay, Vito. Like, we can roll it and then go ahead. It. It's okay. okay. Go ahead. So, Vito, um, if you like, we can do it as a conversation. If you think no. it would be easier. Um, I was really excited to hear about you. I know you were at Central Commons between 76 and 77. So, tell me about, about you. How did you get into hockey? Well, I was always a hockey player. I played ball hockey growing up. Uh, uh, near Christie Pitts, we were you know, fanatics. But yeah. uh, I mean, during my days at Central Commerce, uh, I always, you know, continued to play and work hard. I mean, sports was my life. Right. I mean, my mother always thought I was uh, skipping school because I never brought books home. But yeah, fortunately, I got through high school, and they were the greatest days of my life. Actually, that's when I was wonderful. a young man. And so, uh, you know, it's Bill D'Angelo, and you, we we need to uh, illustrate that you were there '76 and '77. And I then, graduated in 76, 77 from, uh, I was there four years in 72, so 76, perfect. so. And did you enjoy being at Central Commerce? Oh, it was great, it was fun, it was, you know, we, we went to school and, you know, dated girls and played yeah, sports. a lot of girls, <laughs> a lot of, of girls, of course. It was more great. girls than boys. The ratio was great, I mean, I think it was two or three of us. Uh, boys in a boys class, in a class and, and, and maybe 17, 20 girls. Yeah, exactly. so it was a lot of fun. Exactly, and then I guess from that, you got into hockey. Did you ever play in Ontario as well? I played junior in Ontario while I was going to high school. A lot of the teachers were kind enough uh, if I missed a test or an exam and I would rewrite it, which is really helpful because a lot of the bus trips we get back at two in the morning, exactly. three in the morning, and with between the bumps and bruises, you really didn't make it to the nine a.m. class. Right? Exactly. And I'm hearing uh, a lot of people uh, like yourself who've done well outside of commerce had those experiences. Uh, a lot of support at commerce for for people that had special talents, and hockey was a passion of yours. And I now now your new passion is uh, being the owner of uh, Alpha uh, Motor Sports. And you have these beautiful, sexy cars, and you look great. <laughs> you look great at this car, Thank and, you. and you've—it's uh, it's amazing. So you were uh, playing in Italy for about ten years. You ten said? years I played. I played my last years was uh, in Milan for the Milan Devils, which is uh, owned by or was owned by Berlusconi, Silver Berlusconi, Prime Minister of Italy. Did you ever get a chance to meet the gentleman? I went to. We ate at his house, at his villa twice. Wow. He was a gentleman. Wonderful. You know what they write about him. Well, you know, the, there's media and there's, you know, the, well, there's the personal life and the public life of people. We always know that. But uh, you're fluent in Italian as well. Yes, I am. I'm born in Italy. Excellent. Uh, Where did you come from? Originally, I was born in Sicily, Castella Mare del Golfo. Oh, it's, uh, wonderful. What, I'm, I'm interviewing another gentleman tomorrow from Italy as well. We had a great Italian uh, population there, Italian, Portuguese, and now it's kind of changed, so it's it's wonderful. And how long have you had this passion and, and the car business? Uh, well, I, while I played hockey, I had a, I always had a passion for cars. Even mm. when we were going to high school, we always mm. used to buy this. For sure. I mean, I always had a little European car, me and my buddies. And um, when I was uh, playing in Italy, I started bringing a Porsche back and a little Ferrari mm. back. And, I was fixing cars in my car at uh, the garage in Lamborghini dealer called Lenny's Garage. Mm -hmm. And he asked me, Vito, why don't you help me sell cars while you're not playing hockey? And I said, sure. Sounds what? like a great idea. So I play hockey, come back in April until August and sell Lamborghinis and Ferraris. Excellent. And so that's how you got into this. And so when did you start, I can do it on my own and become your After own. I retired in 93, I worked on my own. I worked for Lamborghini for Lenny for another year and then I decided to branch out. Excellent. Uh, 95 and start a company. Then I went back to Lamborghini. I worked for Lamborghini for approximately 17 years during my hockey career and after. This is the thing I'm noticing. A lot of uh, young men and young women from Central Commerce, we seem to be entrepreneurs. And I wonder if that has to do with maybe the business subjects we took there or, or maybe it has something to do with the fact that we're just hard workers. I think uh, our, our day and age and our culture, uh, us being a lot of, a lot of the uh, immigrants. Uh, immigrants that That's were right. there, we, we all had strong minds, I think. And, yeah. I mean, our parents immigrated here with nothing. Right. And I think that rubbed off on us, and maybe we, you know, we carried it a little further. I mean, exactly. we, they didn't have education. I mean, yeah. whatever little education we were able to absorb here. I, I, think, I think you're selling yourself short. Yeah. I think I'm here and I love your place. You've done a wonderful job. And I thank you, first of all, for giving us the time. You have such a busy 
a personal life as well as a business life. And uh, I just want us to say now, thank you to you and happy birthday to Central Commerce. And happy birthday, Central Commerce. Thank you, Vito, and it's Vito D'Angelo. Thank, thank you for you. having me. Thank you.